Welcome to another video in which we will talk about the basic science uh, behind the factor analysis. We will also talk about how to fix our loading problem in factor analysis that why our data is not loading on its respective items or variables. We will also talk about how to gain the discriminant and the convergent validity. We will also talk about what kind of data is required in order to uh, do your factor analysis. And then uh, we'll also talk about certain questions like how to get Cronbach alpha values right and what is actually the science behind factor analysis and how to correct the problems in uh, your loadings. To get some more in-depth understanding of the basics of factor analysis, you can also watch uh, another video that is factor analysis using SPSS. Uh, so let's start. And look at this sheet, it is in SPSS. Uh, now in this sheet, what we are doing is that we are measuring five different variables. One is uh, formalization, that is F, F1 to F7. Then employee creativity, that is from EC1 to EC11. Then organizational innovation, that is from OI1 to OI9. Uh, then performance from P1 to P6 and then culture from C1 to C5. That means we are measuring formalization with seven items, employee creativity with 11 items, organizational innovation with nine items, performance with six items, and then culture with five items. Now, the idea is that when we are doing our factor analysis, all of these formalization items should load on their respective variable in one box and should not load on any other variable. Same goes for employee creativity, organizational innovation and performance and culture. So first of all, how to perform this uh, fact analysis in SPSS. So what we do is we go to analyze, then we go to this dimension reduction and factor. So when we go to this factor, First, reset it so it doesn't have any values from the previous analysis. Now, look at this that we have five variables being measured with different number of items. Formalization, employee creativity, innovation, and then we have the performance and culture. So, what we can do is we can select all of these variables and place them in this span so we can analyze it. And also make sure that if you have any uh, computed variables or any uh, demographic variables, they should not be part of your analysis. Otherwise, your analysis might not be uh, done correctly. So I am putting all the items in the variable pan to analyze the factor analysis. Now, there are a few things that we need to do. First of all, we need to go to descriptives and see if you want the KM and Bartley's test, but we are not interested uh, right now. Then extraction, you can go to this fixed number. First of all, you can always do it on the eigen value based, but I'll recommend that you go to this fixed number. And as we have five variables here, we can just put five here so we can get the five variables data and then we can see what is the problem with our loadings. Continue and then go to this rotation and let's go to this very max rotation and continue. Scores are fine, we don't have to do anything here. But in the option section, this is important that you need to suppress small coefficients. So we can see our loadings very clearly. So it is written as by default it is 0 0.10. So make sure it is point and then let's take it to 50, which which is considered to be the threshold for any loading. So any value which will be less than 0 0.50 will be suppressed, which means it will not be shown. So let's continue and OK. And what we are interested in is to look at the, this matrix, which is the rotated matrix. Now, as you can see that all of our data is scattered and not many variables or their items are uh, converging at one point. But let's just analyze this. First of all, let's look at this formalization items, 1 to 7. So item 1 is not loading anywhere, which means it must be zero, less than 0 
that is why it is not visible f2 is fine f3 is fine f4 is loading it's uh, 0.546 but f5 is loading at a different variable which is in the second box and then we have f7 and f6 are loading in their respective variables and make sure that we don't have and see p6 is also loading in the same uh, box so let's look at another variable that is employee creativity that is also loading at two different boxes which is not right and also the loadings are not uh, very fine 0 0.59 0 0.52 0 0.509 so that means there's a problem here then if you look at this uh, performance or organization innovation it's the same problem then performance is loading all of its value at one box which is fourth box and no other variable or item is loading in this box so this is fine but the problem is with the p6 so p6 is not loading in its respective box and then we have the culture which is c so first three items are loading here which is fine but c4 and c5 are loading in this box and also we can see that uh, with the c loadings there are some other loadings as well now the problem is that uh, how does this work what is happening behind the analysis and what is happening in the data so let's just go to this data view and first understand what is happening here now the loadings will be same if the values of all the items let's say for formalization these values are the same in their respective uh, columns so let's say three five five three three five five they are not the same some of them are the same but not all of them are the same the same goes for all of these items for one variable how similar they are because what they are doing is they are actually checking the correlation of each of the items with, with each other and then they are performing the loadings same goes for ec with its 11, 11 items how similar they are if they are similar to each other if these values are similar to each other they will show you higher loading and at the same time this row of values should be different from the rest of the five or four or six or any number of variables that you're trying when we will perform another analysis this is how you have to fix your uh, factor loadings so now we can see that all of formalizations items are loading in one box and they are not loading anywhere else at the same time EC is loading in one box and not loading anywhere else. OI is loading in one box, not anywhere else. So this is how you can fix this problem. But the, the idea of this video was to make you understand that what is the science behind the factor analysis. So if, if you have values like these, uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, you're, you're going to get your alphas right, you're going to get your AVEs right, and you're also going to get your CRs right. But one other thing is that you don't just have to see that all the items are loading here. You also need to see that all the items loading here are averagely above 0.707 or they should be above 8 or if one of the values is 0.5 that is fine because others are 0.8 and 0.7 but make sure that these loadings are of higher value at least higher than 0 0.707 on average and same goes with this same goes with this and same same goes with uh, this variable so this is how you can fix your factor loading problem thank you very much